Hey everybody, this is Christy Furio with Keys to the Shop. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Uh, I just wanted to come to you and say Happy Thanksgiving. And also I wanted to say how thankful I am for all of you listening to the show. Over the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to interview so many different people in the industry with an amazing wealth of knowledge and experience and uh, bring those perspectives to you. And through emails and face-to-face conversations and even phone calls, I've just really been, uh, my heart's been blessed to have seen the impact that it's had on you. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity for being able to host this show. And again, I'm, I'm just really grateful for all of you listening to the show. It really means a lot to me. And so this shift break today is just not a normal one, except for I do want to encourage you to, as you pursue your career in coffee, as you learn new things and you accumulate knowledge and experience, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to have victories and challenges. Uh, Just this journey you're on in your career and in your business in coffee it can become overwhelming and we can become obsessive in a lot, you know, a lot of us are in coffee because we started to obsess over coffee. And, um, one of the things that's true about any business that you become a real specialist in is that you can miss the forest for the trees. You can just be so caught up with the details and the minutia that you lose perspective of the big picture and, and that's why I want to encourage you to, uh, like we said in the self-care episode a while back, take time to pull away and look at the big picture and look specifically at those things that are good, those things that you are grateful for and thankful for, and, and, and meditate on those things. Think about them and consider the richness that it brings to your life. And what that will do is it will start to create more happiness and joy in your life. And that's something I wish for all of you. It's something I I wish for myself in my career is to find joy in it. And being able to do that, being able to articulate the things that you're grateful for and articulate to other people too how grateful you are to them, thanking them and considering how good it is to have those things in your life, this is going to cause you to gain a perspective that will keep you from burnout. It will help you sleep better at night because there's no end to goals that we can set for ourselves. As soon as we reach one goal or we start one project that was a goal, we move on to something else. We tend to get some free time and we fill it quickly back up with something else or somebody else fills that time for us. We need to aggressively guard against not having time to really stop, look around and count our blessings. This might be maybe a bit of a sappy (laughs) shift break episode and it's not technically meant to be a shift break episode. Um, I actually wasn't even going to put something up today. But I just, one, wanted to say thank you to you for listening. Um, I look forward to many more years of bringing great content to you that will help impact you in a positive way. And two, I just wanted to encourage you to think about what you're grateful for. Think about what you're thankful for. If it's a person, go tell them and make sure that in turn, you pay it forward. You know, you you create an environment for somebody else that will cause them to be thankful for you in your presence in their life, whether that's in coffee or outside of coffee. So I hope you have an amazing day today. I appreciate all of you. Uh, Stay tuned. Next week, we have some really great episodes coming up in particular, Founder Friday. You're not going to want to miss that one, I assure you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for what that is. And I will see you here next week for another episode of Shift Break from Keys to the Shop.